guy the legend turns out pat dipped his toes into rock and roll too we uncovered this report back from the 70s pat when he spent a few days learning what it was like to become a rock and did roll you write star. that no uh jerry grossman the guy who produced this series uh, uh wrote the song in the dark one night and then we actually got a, a musical arranger i had a backup group what? They were called Tenderness. They were all <laughs> terrific. I had professional <laughs> singers. I had professional musicians. The only amateur in this whole thing was me. <laughs> See, I was like Fabian. And they they were like Dick Clark. And the idea was, can I take somebody right off the street uh -huh. and make a rock and roll star out of them? So we went to this studio called uh, Tracks uh -huh. up in uh, Silver Spring, and we did the layers and layers and layers of s sounds. And then I recorded my voice, sometimes saying those words one at a time. Wow. And then they, they made it all swell up. We took it to a disco called The Plum downtown, uh -huh. paid the DJ to sneak it into the mix. <laughs> We had people dancing. Yeah, they were loving it. We even got a call from, can I say, a record company thinking about pressing that wow. record. I could have had a whole different career <laughs> wow. had it not been for one little thing. Well, we, we, we're glad it turned out this way, though. We're, we're, we're glad. You yeah. fooled a lot of people. Great. I know. It sounded I know. great. I, oh, my goodness. For those of you who may not know, Pat is a D.C. native who has been covering yeah. his hometown for nearly his entire career. Yeah, and today we received this message from D.C. Council member Robert White on behalf of the D.C. Council. I'm DC at Large Council Member Robert White, and I want to say congratulations to you, Pat Collins, on 36 years of service to the district and to our region. For so many years, we have tuned into NBC4 to see you don a great costume, pull out your snow ruler, which we will need soon. And for all those years, you have brought so much joy and thoughtfulness to our lives your intellectual chops, the compassion with which you have done your job has made a meaningful impact on our lives. So my DC Council colleagues and I are steadily drafting your official resolution. So don't go too far, Pat. We need to see you in January. Congratulations, we will miss you. He's not going anywhere, this is home, how nice. All right, my turn now, Patrick. My first day, about 30 years ago, I wanna take you way back the news director sent me out with Collins, this cub reporter, to follow him around, watch his brilliance, watch the master storyteller and how he gets it done. Um, I don't remember exactly what the story was, but what I do remember is we went to multiple locations and everywhere we went, people came out to see Pat. They came out of their houses when they heard that you were on their streets. Yeah, they didn't come up to him to shake his hand or just say, hey, Pat, I know you, the guy on TV, they came out to hug you and not just any hug like you're a friend. It was a family hug, the big bear hug, like you were part of their family. Folks, that does not happen to anybody else but Pat Collins, and he has earned those hugs, let me tell you, for 50 years now. Um, that's what it's meant to so many of you. When you come home from work every day, you feel like you're turning on family when you turn on Channel 4 and you see Pat Collins. We want to thank you for inspiring us, informing us, but most of all, entertaining us every night. We are so happy for you and Emily, your beautiful family here in the studio with us. And as Wendy would say, congratulations, Patrick. Yeah, thank you, thank you, you very much. You know, television is an intimate business. You know, I'm here, your home, in your living room, in the kitchen. You might want to clean up that living room. <laughs> Uh, but I'm here, you're there, and I'm talking to you. And, and 
It's a visceral business, and if I do my job properly, I'm going to hit you right in the heart. I'm going to give you something to remember, something to talk about at breakfast tomorrow. It's a very, very, very intimate, important, and a job that I take seriously, even though sometimes we have a lot of fun with it. Yes, we do. You have me at hello. <laughs> yeah. You have me at hello. We've got much more from Pat coming up right after this, so stay with us.